So, hello guys, welcome back to Plosive Projects. And today we are going to make a human following robot, which is going to be followed or which is going to be commanded by ultrasonic sensors, IS sensors, and we are going to make this with Arduino Uno. So, without wasting our time, let's go and make this project successful. So, let's go. <laughs> First, let's take a look at the components, which I bought from Zbotic. Zbotic is a shop where there are almost all components you need. They also have own website where we can directly order modules and contact them easily if any query. Guys, this is not a sponsor, but a recommendation to use it. If you want to visit, link is in description. So let's get back to the components needed for this project. They are Arduino Uno R3, L298N motor driver module, ultrasonic sensor, two IR sensors, jumper wires, a 4WD car kit which contains four wheels, four gear motors, connectors and screws, car chassis and some wires to attach to the motors. Now let's assemble the car. So let's start to attach our motors, the wire. So I'm not soldering it because if there is an issue, then I can just pull off screws. And then, now make sure that the red wire is right there and the black wire is there. So let's attach our motor on the car chassis and make sure that this thing is here and the wires are facing inside. And it's done. Attach the velocimetric velocimetry on the motor. To maintain velocity of the motor. You can also put a double sided tape on the car chassis to attach motor. Now attach screws to all motors and it's ready. Now attach spacers on the chassis. Now it's done. And our first car set is ready. Let's move on to the second. So guys, now let's make the car set 2 which will contain all the components. So let's now attach the Arduino Uno to our board. Which will be like this. Right there. And then the L298 motor driver module right there. can see I have used the double sided tape right there and I am also using this thing which is the which has all the sensors an ultrasonic sensor then IR sensor and I will put this right there so all the things all the uh, attaching part is done now we have to attach the pins to the Arduino Uno for that, I am using the sensor shield, uh, which you can find it in, in any uh, in an Amazon shop, in electronic shop, and I recommend you a uh, electronic shop which is Z Botic. Not sponsoring, guys. So I'll just put this right there. I recommend 
sensor shield to use sensor shield because it gives us easy wiring because there are many sensors to attach and it makes it easy to put the wires so now the sensor shield is also right there and let's let's do the wiring according to this circuit diagram so guys as you can see that i have put all the wires in into the sensor shield if you want that i can give you without the sensor shield only with the arduino then i have provided the code files and the uh, arduino code arduino codes and circuit diagram files in the description below do check out but i will use the sensor shield itself because it is very easy to uh, pin these things because of course these all have the ma uh, main or the common ground and BCC pin so that's why I am putting that like this so now we have to put uh, these you can see that the sensor shield has two out pins right there so I will just make this screw in and yes it have been it has been screwed in now let me take the tweezer and the uh, ground pin will go to the uh, common ground here and the vcc will go right there to the 5 watt supply so let's just put that on okay as you can see that i have put the vcc pin right there but I am not putting the ground pin because I have to also insert the battery point 0.2 so you, uh, you can assume that our uh, car set 2 is now ready so let's go and let's completely assemble the car so guys as you can see this was our car set 1 and now let's put the battery pack to this this is a 12 watt battery which I have made for the this series only this car series only because it needs 12 watt supply too so that it can run it faster and then this is the input so that we can charge and this these two wires are the output and this will come out of the car set too and these also these all wires will also come so without wasting our time let's uh, put the car set to and it will take a few minutes you can skip it or I will just make it fast forward ready now we have to just upload our code and then this will just be a human following robot so let's go so guys as you can see this is our code right now and uh, these are the motor pins that we have connected to our l298 motor driver module to arduino uno then these all are our integers and we can see constant uh, integers our right is at um, analog pin 1 our left is at analog pin 0 then e and a is on 5 e and b and these are all the respective pins which we have put it as integers to define them for our further code to be easy so this is our pin mode outputs then of course the echo pin will be input red pin will be output 
then IR left and right will of course be the input ones and from this uh, we can also see the serial monitor that fr from the serial monitor what is the distance and the uh, IR left and right um, IR receivers are working or not then these are the distance codes then our left motor forward right motor forward and that's all you have to you have, don't need to change anything if you follow the instructions of the circuit diagram and my process to connect the pins so yeah this is the code and let's go to uploading the code So guys, now let's upload our code to ES, uh, I mean Arduino Uno. So let me put our data cable to Arduino Uno. And it is attached. And now it has also, uh, the Arduino Uno app is also detected. So let's upload our code. So guys, now the code is uploaded. And I hope this will work so I will not put my hand over there so now let's go and test drive, uh, test this out and then of course the outro part will come so let's go so guys as you can see this is our final output and uh, when I put my hand in front of this then it moves and closer to it then it stops so that if any uh, obstacle is in front or almost uh, 10 cm then it automatically stops and does not also and it also permits the air sensors to work so it is also obstacle avoider we can stop so if I put here then those motors work if there these motors work so let's uh, do the test drive. So guys, I hope you loved my project and my car which was human falling robot. So guys, I end up my video here only and I will meet you in the next video. Till then, good.